I want to just uh, start out by uh, stating that this is a bill without this amendment that is going to have a, a very significant adverse effect on the Endangered Species Act. It's going to make citizen suit enforcement, which has been an important part of the effectiveness of the act, more difficult, uh, not just in uh, cases some might characterize as frivolous, but in all cases, including very meritorious cases. Uh, this is a bill that undermines uh, a critical provision of the act for parties when they prevail in court. Uh, under this bill, uh, successful litigants would be subject to uh, EJA, which would cap fees, in some instances well below market rates for attorneys, and that makes it more difficult, of course, for citizens to retain counsel and challenge illegal government actions. Now, while the majority claims this legislation would simply align the fee-shifting provisions with other laws, nothing could be further th from the truth. The ESA's market-based fee-shifting policy uh, is not unique. It's something that Congress did very purposefully. In fact, Congress has enacted identical fee-shifting provisions in a number of other areas where the award of attorney's fees and costs are provided where appropriate in the discretion uh, of the court. It is appropriate to expect each party to pay their own attorney's fees in certain types of cases, in cases where, for example, a successful plaintiff can recover damages or win a share of a monetary judgment, but that's not how it works in Endangered Species Act litigation. The plaintiffs there have nothing to win personally. They are stepping in to help enforce the law, and that's why courts should have, and Congress was right in making sure that courts should have the flexibility to make case-by-case -case determinations regarding fee awards uh, if the plaintiffs have been successful in helping enforce the law. The majority also contends that extreme environmental groups are lining their pockets recovering attorneys' fees from frivolous suits. And as we've said uh, numerous times before, uh, it's important to point out ESA litigation represents a very small fraction of 1 percent, much less than 1 percent of the lawsuits filed, only 0.19 percent of all lawsuit payments made by the Department of Justice and an equally small percentage of legal fees and awards paid out by the federal government. According to the Administrative Office of the U.S. Courts, uh, of the 284,604 civil actions filed in federal district courts in the 12 months ending September 30, 2013, just 1,436 involved environmental statutes at all. Uh, nonetheless, I offer this amendment um, to attempt to address what the Republican majority says they're concerned about, frivolous litigation. My uh, amendment reinforces that sanctions may be imposed against potential litigants that file frivolous claims or engage in frivolous or abusive litigation tactics. It would require litigants to make a reasonable investigation into both the facts and the law. Of course, uh, this is something that the federal courts already have the ability to do. However, this amendment uh, makes that very explicit within the Endangered Species Act itself. Um, with that, I would uh, yield the balance of my time. Gentleman yields his time with the gentleman from Utah.